You ain't no art, boy. No way. Where you get off taking Grandpa's proxy lessons? It's like you just walk up here like a big bag chair from town and take Grandpa's four star Dragon Ball? No, it's not how it works. Grandpa, we needed that Dragon Ball to wish back all the people Gilgamesh and my dad killed. You did what with my Dragon Ball? If I had known this, I would have crushed you with my Warhammer. What do you mean, if you knew this? Grandpa, you were there. You even got in a fight with Shenron. Uh, that was a baptism, dumbass. And Shenron brought a menorah into the church. So he had that coming, a scaly bastard. How have I tolerated you for so long? That's the problem with you, boy. You and I used to be so close, but now you went all short water Joe's on me and started turning away the farm. What? Don't you want me, boy? You've been all about that dancing footloose life back then, but look at you now. Going out spending your weekends hanging out with Vanessa Hudgens? You're a mess. A disgrace. You can ask Cotton Eye Joe down by the fair, but you're too cool for him now, apparently. He asked where you come from where you go. I told him he died in Nathan's hot dog eating contest, so I didn't have the heart to tell him you turned into a bitch like that spy from Sean's web. I hate you! Now, if you'll excuse me, I shit my pants. Good day, sir. <sighs> Fucking hate old people. Hey, welcome back to Danny Glover News, the number one source for Danny Glover information. Morning to all of you out there. Following this week's big story, President of the World Seth Rollins has been impeached. This, of course, as a result of Seth Rollins getting into a fight with 14 children at a child's birthday party. From what we understand, Seth had been on a three-strike system. This, however, was strike 454 and the straw that broke the camel's back. We had a chance to speak to Seth Rollins in an interview where he was most optimistic. Finn, you want Seth Rollins in an office so bad? You can keep your stupid office. I blow up Belgium one time and all of a sudden I'm the bad guy. I don't like your waffles, Belgium. They make my tongue sore. Finn, you want Seth Rollins not to be president? That's fine with me, nerds. I have a candy necklace, so you don't matter anymore to me. Can't wait till the dinosaurs come back and start eating all of you people. It'll be like the land before time, but scary! The dinosaurs will be chasing people all like, yeah, 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 yeah. And people will be like, Oh no, Seth Rollins, save us! We shouldn't have banned you from being president! And I'll be like, sorry, lame ooze, but I'm going to Dracula's castle to kiss a bunch of girls and test out his new trampoline, because I want to see how high I can jump. And the best part is Dracula's my friend, so no one can go on the trampoline but me. <sighs> what a fucking moron. With Seth Rollins out of office, the panel of world leaders has chosen John Cena to be president of Earth. The panel insists that Cena's kindergarten education and knowledge of four moves is more than enough to do a good job. Brim Brim, I'm gonna go see the Tin Man in prison. You sure you don't want to come? Why do you bother visiting him? The guy tried to kill us and the entire planet. That's false propaganda, Brim Brim. I know the Tin Man's innocent. He'd never hurt anyone. You're talking about the same guy who doused you in gasoline and set you ablaze just to distract the waiter so he can get out of paying a $15 bill. He said it was the only way for me to prove my love for him. And I almost passed. Can't you see he's just an asshole and he uses you because you're incredibly stupid? Forget it, just go. Yay! Prison visit!
As I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I take a look at my life. Yo, Omar! You better have my goods. I told you what happens to those who hold out on me, Omar. Don't make me come over there. Yeah, I can see the fear coming out of your beady little eyes. I'll give you a pass this time. But next time, you're grounded. Why can't you go a single day without starting a conflict with another inmate? That's cause I'm the muscle on this team. Everyone needs to know that. By the way, I gotta finish my set. Uh, three. Uh, four. Well, that's a good workout for today. I'm really killing these reps, aren't I, Ahmed Johnson? <clears throat> You're the off dog in this yard, Tin Man. <clears throat> Alright, let's get down to business. When is this plan taking place? It's going down today, my little buddy. A little retarded bird is dropping by and handing me a little present. And after that, it's only a matter of time until we're on our way to delicious freedom! <laughs> hey, Starscream! What do you think you're doing? Put on that dust stick right now before you give everyone secondhand smoke! Are you back talking me, Starscream? Does a Tin Man have to come over there and shank a Decepticon? No, no, of course not. I'll put it out right now. Sorry. Yeah, now that's how respect is done. Tin Man, you have a visitor. Alright, looks like my little retard Bernie has arrived. I'll be back. <laughs> hey, Dad, I missed you. Shut up, idiot! I don't care about your gay little feelings. Did you bring the stuff? Yeah, Dad, I brought the cake just like you asked. Good. Did you put the secret ingredient in it? Secret ingredient? Yes, you know. The nail file. Did you put it in the cake? You mean the chocolate ice cream? I sure did, Dad, and it's scrumptious. No, retard Jones. I'm talking about the nail file. You know, out of jail? Did you put it in the cake? Well, of course I put sprinkles on it. Wouldn't be the cake without sprinkles. Yay! Oh my god, I am so gonna fucking kill you. Alright, let's try this one more time. Did you, Retar Jones, put a nail file in the cake like I asked you to? Got peanut butter in it too! Oh god damn it! How hard is it to understand? I asked if there's a fucking nail file in the fucking cake, you goddamn fucking retard! I mean, for my nails, of course. They're getting long. Yeah. Oh, a nail file. Sorry, Dad, I couldn't find one around the house. Oh, you would fail me, you moon-headed fuck. Thanks for nothing, scumbag. Eh, uh, Biscuits, I failed you again, Dad. I mean, I did put a shotgun in the cake, but I know it's not a good nail file. I'm sorry. Hmm, you know what? I think this will actually do. Good work, Retard Jones. Welcome back to Danny Glover News. We're following a breaking development as it seems the Tin Man and a few comrades have broken out of jail. Oh, what the fuck, man. Also, will Gonorrhea stop Danny Glover from fucking your wife? Find out at 11. I'd like to thank you all for coming here tonight. It's been a long nine months, but I can proudly say that Tin Man is now out of incarceration. Though despite my newfound freedom, the bitter taste of betrayal still lurks on my tongue. I have been outcasted by the world. The very world that outcasted you all. All we ever wanted was unmatchable respect, but that was too much for the world to handle, apparently. 
that is why I've gathered you all here today, to get back our much due respect, as a single team. With all of us working together, no one will dare disrespect us again. No one! Okay, serious question. What in the hell would possess you to buy me a Curious George shirt? I do not like Curious George in the slightest. Oh, look at this. I worked my ass off to buy you a top-of-the-line Curious George shirt, and this is the thanks I get. Typical. You didn't work your ass off for it. It says Salvation Army right on the tag. Shut up! Where are the pretzels? Starscream was informed there would be pretzels. I cannot have pretzels. Pretzels remind me of Padme. Pretzels are good. The Goro only likes them with cheese on top. Cheese on a pretzel, Goro. That's disgusting. Why not put barbecue sauce on a salad? Don't listen to him, Goro. Starscream's just upset because every time he steps outside, he gets mistaken for that silver guy in the Capri Sun commercials. Fuck you and your fucked up teeth, B. You know you'd have the world record for sucking the most dick if you didn't have that night breeze there. Of course! Now, now, we must put aside our bickering and work together if we're to be an effective team. We are a family now, after all. Yes, because nothing bad happens when Chris Benoit has a family. God damn it, Nick Man! <laughs> suppose you have any more spare shirts, do you, sport child? Hmm, that's what I figured. <laughs> 